you guys today is my official last day of virtual learning and I can't even tell you how freaking excited I am. So in today's vlog, I wanted to get you guys up to date with all of the changes, all of the things that have to do with returning to school on um, October 5th. So, sorry, I can't contain my excitement. Um, I need to do my makeup first though. I wanted to just start this vlog while I was thinking about it because I'm just so excited. I walked in the door today and I'm like, oh my God, it feels like the last day of school and the first day of school all in one. It's crazy. Um, I have to, in this vlog, I'm going to update you guys on all of the procedures and information that go with returning to school in person. And then I'm also going to give you a classroom update because I did have to move some things around. As you guys can see, things look a little bit different. And I also have my TV. So I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast real fast. I have treated myself to Starbucks. I'm going to do my eye makeup because that is pretty much all the makeup I've been doing since I have to wear a mask all day. It's kind of nice. But I am breaking out though, which is not so nice. So that just comes with the whole mask wearing situation. It is what it is. We have quite a few projects going today, but I'm gonna get into my to-do list in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so I am logged in to my last set of Google Meet uh, meetings. I have to do three of them today, one at 8 o'clock, one at 8.20, and one at 8.40, and then we have a staff meeting from 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So I am logged into my last Google Meet. Oh my god, I can't I'll wait. We're going to do some morning announcements, and then we're going to play Kahoot because... It's like the last day of school, you know what I mean? We have to have fun. So I have 11 kids in here already. We've got five minutes until the meet begins. And you guys, I'm so excited. Um, I was working on putting my little look sign up there. So the little googly eyes that everybody has. Um, and then I was FaceTiming my friend Mandy and I realized what time it was and I was like, oh, we gotta start that, you know, that whole meet thing that we do. So anyway, I'm gonna get started and then I'll check in with you guys as soon as this meeting's over and start um, updating you guys on all of the things. So, here we go. And just like that, Google Meets are over. I do have a staff meeting this morning at 9.30, so I have about 25 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do right now is just give you guys a quick little, um, overview of the classroom and how it has changed a little bit and then after my meeting I'll have a little bit more information to give you guys so I will go through all of how school is going to work after that I will give you guys a quick walkthrough of everything that I'm doing the first week of school so I'm gonna just get myself up here now keep in mind my room is a little bit of a mess I do need to clean it up before um, I leave for the day just little projects here and there everywhere but I did move my desk back to where it was originally and the reason why is because when the kids come I just want a space that's mine and since when I spaced out the desks I had a little bit more room than I anticipated so I did go ahead and move my desk back to the way it was so um, the desks are all spread out um, the highest number we have in our classes is 20 and so I have a setup here for 20 students. I do have one, two extra desks in case we get another student. I do have a student with a visual impairment, so I've created a little office space for her at the front of the room. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to move her to this um, front and center spot so that she can see closer to the TV and the whiteboard. But um, I have two desks for her because she will be coming with a slant board and a light and I want to make sure that she has enough space to work. And I also stocked her desk with larger pieces of paper for any activities that we do where she has to write. And then I will also make copies of any worksheet or anything like that on here for her as well. I'm thinking I might try to find some sort of like cool folder for her to keep those in. And then um, I'll only have 20 kids in one of my homerooms, so this desk will be completely empty otherwise. So again, I have set up for 20. I have five rows of four kids. I didn't want to do four rows of five because I wanted the kids to be as close as possible. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, my TV is here. 
they did mount them pretty high up on the wall so I did shift around some furniture just to kind of make it look better so I did move these two bookshelves underneath the TV and it's kind of like a fun little decorative space I'll probably end up putting like materials that we will use throughout the day on there Right now I have some read alouds for the first couple days of school, just in case I run out of things to do and I need some fillers. Um, I'll probably add a couple more to this, but I also added a student station here. So I have a pencil sharpener. I'm gonna have, these are gonna be my turn in bins. And then I'm probably gonna put like extra lined paper here for students if they need it, but I really don't see myself using lined paper very often. And then I thought I would put something here, like maybe class points. Um, so I'll put our class nicknames, a picture, and then I'll probably keep um, track of points there. And then I have my demonstration little area prepared. So we're not going to be rotating teachers. Our students are going to be rotating. So this is going to be my demonstration table. Um, I like how it's got the chef board. I can take this off and wash it. And then I do have some McDonald's trays. I have more down there for if I'm going to do any demonstration that would spill or anything like that. So I have this ready to go. And then my teaching station is right here. This is my document camera. I've shown you guys in past um, videos, but basically my Lenovo sits on top of it and projects down. And then this is where um, I project to. And then I was right in the middle of putting up my look, what we're learning. Um, and then I'll put my learning targets probably right here on the board. I don't really see myself using the whiteboard so much um, just because I do have this and it projects right to the TV. So I don't really need to stress about that. And then I have my to-do list of things that I want to get done in the first three days of school. I'll be putting my schedule cards over there today once they're done and ready to go. And then I also have my daily drawers here and they are stocked with all of the things that I will be using in the first couple of days. There's nothing really, oh, there's some stuff. Most of what I'm gonna do is going to be on computers anyway, so I don't have a lot of paper flow, but just things that I want them to complete and then take home or projects I'm gonna hang up on the work wall. So. That's kind of how the layout has changed. I moved my two black tables back here. This is gonna be where I can pull kids back to do individual demonstrations or let the kids do projects like three at a time, four at a time, just so that they're distanced out. And then this way, it's kind of blocking the library because kids are not going to be able to use the library. So um, I do have this here to kind of just like section that whole space off. And then, yeah, so that is kind of how the layout of the room has changed. I do need to, you know, obviously clean up some projects and um, I'm taking this stuff home. But other than that, it has stayed pretty much the same. But I am going to go ahead and go and do, I have one thing I need to do before my meeting starts. So I'm going to go do that. And then, like I said, I will come back and tell you guys all of the changes and all of the basically procedures and things that we will be doing when the kids return guys so it has been a very long day it is about 2 40 at this point in the day i've been working really hard on my to-do list and everything else that's on it is pretty much tech based so making slides um finishing up google classroom stuff things like that so i thought i would just stop um take a minute to kind of walk you guys through some of the things that our school is doing for returning to learn. So I'm gonna go and park myself somewhere in the room so I can just talk to you guys and try really hard not to miss anything. I think I'm gonna actually grab my notebook because I did take notes in it and that should, that should be helpful. All right, you guys. So let's just talk about some of the procedures and information about returning to school that my district, my school has put in place. So some things that I was wondering about. As of right now, our students are going to be rotating teachers. So what that means is that my homeroom will start in here, they will rotate to next door, and then they will go to one other place. So they will be getting up and physically moving from classroom to classroom. They have decided to go ahead and keep that implemented since our class sizes are so small. So our class size, I think mine is down to 16, next door is 18, and then the other one is 20. So as new kids come to our school, they will probably be moved into my class first and then go to him next door. 
So because our class sizes are so small, we are gonna go ahead and let the kids rotate. Which is great because that means that we all get our own space to teach in and we don't have to be taking our things around. I'm sorry, the glare is really, the glare was really bothering me. Okay. So, <clears throat> Students are going to be required to wear masks all day and be in their assigned seat for most of the day. So when they're in the classroom, they do need to remain in their own workspace. They can't be collaborating, so they can't be like circling up in areas of the room or in groups or anything like that. So they will be parked at their workspace for most of the day. The only times they're allowed to take off their masks are at PE, at recess, and when they're eating lunch or a snack. So. The lunch is going to be served here in our classrooms. They will actually bring it up and deliver it here. That's also breakfast. So for the first 20 minutes of the day, um, a cart will come up and they will ask students if they would like breakfast. If they say yes, they will give them one. And then same thing for lunch. Any kid who does not have a lunch, they will serve them one here in the classroom. Um, the students who will be in my room during lunch is not my homeroom kids. They're actually my second period class. So they will be here during lunch and their specials might be in here. So if they have library, the librarian will come here to our classroom. Recess is going to be staggered out on the playground. So there will be one class at each station. So I might be on the playground Monday. I'll be on the softball field Tuesday and I'll be on the basketball field Wednesday or sorry, Thursday. We don't have recess on Wednesdays. So we are rotating areas of the playground every day. That way, every homeroom stays together. Um, I have purchased all of my fourth grade students' lanyards to hang their masks from when they're at PE and recess because I was trying to wrap my mind around, like, what are they going to do with their mask when they're outside? So I went ahead and purchased lanyards for all my students, all my fourth graders, and my teammates are reimbursing me for that. So that's really nice. Each grade level has a recess kit, so we all have a ball bag with a football, basketball, bouncy ball, and um, so we can take that with us to our designated play area. The parent pickup situation is very interesting. They are going to be uh, scanning QR codes, and then a student's names will fill in a um, Google document, and so when their name lights up or highlights, then we send that kid to go members also need to be wearing a mask all day unless they're in their classroom by themselves so when I'm outside at recess I think I can take it off outside at recess if I have to go out with my kids um, because they they haven't been able to promise us um, coverage I think that we'll be covered during our actual eating time um, and then during recess I'm not sure if we are the ones who take the kids outside or if there will be playground aides monitoring each homeroom class so I don't know that answer yet um, lunch is 30 minutes, recess is 33 minutes, or sorry, lunch is 30 minutes, specials are 40 minutes. So during specials is probably going to be my only prep time, possibly recess, depends on if I get anybody to cover me, and then lunch time. So Mama Pam is here helping get things ready to go. We were hanging bulletin boards and getting stuff ready. Um, okay, what else do I need to share with you guys? Um, our class blocks are 100 minutes long, and that is is including about a 20 minute cleaning time. So cleaning, sanitizing, getting things ready to transition because students will be moving from class to class. So they'll be taking all their stuff with them. We have two computer carts that we're splitting through the whole grade level. So we've decided since I have the smallest class size, my home room, um, half of them will get a cart from Rob and the other half will get a cart from Maria. Or, laptops from Maria and then I will just stack them and bring them back at the end of the day. The funnest part is going to be that there can't be more than one class in the hallway at a time so I'm very interested to see how that plays out. We don't really have a plan yet. We're just gonna see what happens on the first day and call it square. Um, what else did I want to mention? I will not have a morning duty or an afternoon duty. My duty is to be here in the classroom. Students will report directly to our rooms between 7.40 and 8 o'clock and treat every day like rainy day schedule. Staff members will be taking their temperatures upon arrival. I don't think, is it the Death Star? Bye! I think it's the like logo of the Empire. Oh, is that what it is, Robert? He's already gone. Oh. I'm pretty sure.
Because the Death Star is the plan is like the big planet oh, looking. When thing. I said Death Star, he said yeah, but he was trying. No, to maybe it's the symbol for the Death Star. Maybe. Parents are not permitted on campus unless they have an appointment at the office. So they will not be allowed to just come in and have a meeting with whoever whenever they will have to make an appointment. Every student will have a one-to-one -one computer so we will be continuing using Google Classroom and a lot of our online tools just to eliminate the whole paper passing thing. Oh hey, they let you in? I let myself in. Your hair doesn't look bad at all. Terrible. Why do you let not like it? Oh, she went too high. Oh, my God. Too high? It's going to grow back. Yeah, when we cut your hair off, and then let me say it's going to grow back. I don't think it looks bad. It looks like a marine haircut. Oh, it's too high. It's like a high and tight. I didn't want that. Let me see. I thought you went to Jeremy. No, I said, give me a medium fade, please. And all of a sudden, I see. Where'd you go? Because to V's, because I didn't have any, I didn't mm. have uh, time to go to Jeremy's. Mm. I had to come over here. So hubby's here. He's going to start hop helping yes. out. Cutting some uh, letters. Classroom stinks. It smells like our Chinese food, I think. That's uh -huh. what you're smelling. What am I made? What is this? Do you know? This? I don't know what this is. I think it's a some... No, it's a it's Star Wars, Wars reference. This is your job right here to cut these out. Okay. You could have did that at home? Why did you make me come Well, because then we have to hang them up. We have to hang them and it's really high up. I can't reach. Okay, so some other things I wanted to share with you guys were some stuff that I'm going to be... Some activities that I'm going to be doing with the kids on the first week of school. So the first three... Do you have to? What? Do you have to scoot the desk like 500 times? Yeah, because I was stuck. Okay. Sounds like cash. Stuck. So I'm going to have my own homeroom kids for three straight days um, as we practice procedures and all of the new things that go with virtual, or sorry, in-person learning. So, I'm gonna share the things that I'm planning to do for those first three days first. I'm guessing I'm just cutting out the letters. Yeah, but you can do it with scissors. I do it with scissors. Whichever. Wow, I didn't even think of that. Thanks. Okay, paper clips look in the toolbox behind, a, behind the desk. Okay, so these are the things that I wanna make sure to do um, in the first couple of days of school. Instead of making like an agenda or a schedule, I decided to just make a to-do list and then check things off as we go. So there are some things that I really would like to do on Monday um, and you can kind of see which one is which. What? So the most important things go on the top and then the fun kind of like community building activities go towards the bottom. So the first thing I need to make sure to do is send home class dojo invites and let the kids know about book orders. So those are all lined up over there ready to go. I'm going to do a procedure walk and practice. So that's going to be a slideshow that I go through throughout the day to just talk the kids through certain procedures and expectations. We're going to do a sorting supplies activity, so I'll have the kids take out all of their supplies. We'll sort through everything, and if they have extra, I'll put the supplies in a Ziploc bag with their name on it, and then store the supplies in these bins, so that throughout the year, if they need crayons or markers, I can just pull their bag from in here and replenish whatever they need. We're going to log into our new Google Classrooms, which is going to be one homeroom class, one science and social studies classroom, a math and an ELA classroom. So they'll still have Google classrooms, but they will just be by teacher instead of period. We're gonna do an all about me selfie project, which is this really cute um, thing that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. Basically they like draw their face and then they staple these two pages on the back. It's kind of like, how was your first quarter online? They can kind of describe how their quarter went and then goals for the year and then they staple them together and I planned on hanging them up on my work wall, which is over there. Then we're gonna do a What About Germs Nearpod that I've made. So it comes with a lot of read alouds, videos, um, discussions, and then the kids will be making a comic strip about a germ that meets soap. So they'll do that. I also have Saving Sam, which everybody knows what that is, um, but all of that stuff is kind of in my drawers, so all of the paper 
pieces that come with it are in my drawers. We're gonna do me bags for homework. So that is all laid out over there. I'll show you in a second. We're going to do the do unto otters read aloud. So that'll be fun and we'll have a discussion about manners. We're gonna do a bookmark party, which is where we go through and bookmark all of the websites that we will be using throughout the year. Make sure everybody's got them bookmarked, signed in, everything like that. We're gonna do the community spider web, which is gonna be kind of interesting um, because they're all in rows. So I'll have all the kids, um, I'll give them a note card and I'll have them write one fact about themselves. And then I'll probably start right here. They'll read their fact card. And if anybody else in the room relates to that fact, they raise their hand. So then what I'll do is I'll take the string over to that kid and hand it to them. And then they'll read their fact card. Whoever relates to that one will, will raise their hand. And so essentially we're making a human spider web, but since they can't stand in a circle, um, we'll just do it within our desk space so it should be weaving all around to all of the desks so that should be kind of fun then we're gonna do these first day task cards I believe these are misfits I don't remember but they look like this and so those are kind of scattered throughout the room what I planned on doing was giving the kids some work time to work on this all about me um, selfie page and then having like 10 kids rotating around the room and um, filling out these task cards. So I have those printed and ready to go. And then all of these items that the kids are doing with paper, like they're, they're either gonna be hung up or I'm gonna let them take them home. Like they won't be something that I'm gonna really collect. Um, and you know, trying to eliminate the paper collection. I also have a set of two truths and a fib which we could play if we ran out of stuff to do. So I have that. And then over here is all of the stuff that I need to use, like things that are going home. So these are pieces of paper that need to be passed out, dojo invites, me bags, and then I have a few read alouds set out ready to go in case I need them. I have my demonstration station set up for a couple of demonstrations for my germ activities, and then Ziploc bags for supplies, and then those are just trays for other demonstrations. <laughs> I have all of my cleaning supplies over here ready to go. My ball bag is ready to go. You be quiet. I knew that was going to make you snicker. <laughs> if for some reason I go through all those activities in the first day, which I'm sure that I won't because we'll have specials, lunch, recess. We'll do lots of procedure practicing. Um, all that stuff we'll have in between. If for some reason I go through all of that, I have plenty of other things I can pull from like previous years that I've done. I also made my schedule cards, which are super cute, but I don't have the times up there yet. I plan on just setting a lot of timers um, and having those ready to go. I have um, an iPad that I've had here at school for a long time, and I just set the alarms on that, and then I just prop it up like in the front of the room so it'll go off when things need to happen. Um, I did bring my Darth Vader costume here and we tried really hard to put it on this maiden form that my mom has and stand it up so that it was like human size but it just kept falling and shrinking so we decided to put the upper half of him up here on this cabinet and we're gonna try really hard to rig his helmet so that it will stay up there and kind of like anchor him to the wall so he can't fall down so we're gonna try and do that I decided for my passing back of paper system I'm just gonna use these three trays and give each kid a folder but I would really like to get some of those hanging folders and use this um, filing cabinet and then find some other purpose for these I don't know what I want to do with them yet honestly I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of passing of papers back for you know a while everything will probably be on Google Classroom as far as like things that are being turned in goes. The kids will still be filling out paper notebooks, so they'll take notes in their notebook. I still want them to get used to like writing things down and drawing and making models on paper, but everything that they turn in will be on the computer. I think I've covered everything. I love my TV. I actually purchased some LED lights that go around the back of it and they look really cool. I'll show you guys what this room looks like with the lights off. The eight? No, the middle? No, we'll color it black. You don't want to 
want to cut out? No. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the TV. So it has like a cool little, you know, thing around it. Those are just those strip LED lights. They do um, hook up to an app. So I just stuck them to the back of the TV. And then the disco ball. I do have a student who is visually impaired, like I've mentioned, um, and she does suffer from seizures. But her mom told me that the lights shouldn't affect her because they've gone to like light shows and had fireworks and all kinds of stuff. Right. And it hasn't and it hasn't affected her. So I told mom if she starts to act funny or show any signs of that, I will turn all of the lights off while she's in my room. She's in my first period, so at, at least worst case scenario, I can just turn them off while she's in here and then, you know, turn them back on. Probably would keep the Christmas lights on around, um, but maybe dim this and then turn that off because that can be very um, triggering to a, somebody with epilepsy. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys. So I think that I've covered almost everything that um, involves coming back to school. If I missed something, please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments because if I did skip something, it's just because I have so many things going on in my mind. Oh, I'll show you guys my bulletin boards outside. Hello. <laughs> you want to show this one? So I put up this cute little calendar. I need to fill in all the dates. These were a TPT resource. I don't remember the seller off the top of my head. So we have this one. It says, may the fourth grade be with you. Up here, Scott is cutting out words to put on this one. It says, in a hallway far, far away. Get it, like galaxy. And then my board says, we are too excited you're back. And then Rob's board is going to have that symbol that my mom's cutting out on it. And then I don't know what else it's going to say. All right, you guys. So that is all I have for today's vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to take a two-week break and enjoy my fall break. And so you probably won't see me on YouTube for a couple of weeks. But if you're interested in keeping up with our family, we do have a family channel. It's called Apples and the Badge, and we will be posting there for the next couple of weeks. We have some camping vlogs we're going to make. We're going to California, so we have lots of family vlogs coming. And so thank you guys so much for being here, for being here. Thank you guys so much for being here and for being part of our family. Thank you for subscribing, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.